We've had this 2007 Hyundai Entourage minivan in our long-term test fleet for over six months, and it's time for it to go back. The good news is we're trading in the 07 for an 08 model. This very first Hyundai minivan has been used primarily as a production camera vehicle, so it gets used a lot. We've put on over 8,000 kilometers in the six months that we've had it. The Hyundai Entourage is based on the Kia Sedona van and was introduced in 2006 as a 2007 model. Safety features include front, side and curtain airbags, stability control and traction control. The Entourage received the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety's top safety pick and it also received five stars in government crash tests. Powering the Entourage is the same 3.8 liter V6 found in the Hyundai luxury car, the Azera. This motor produces 250 horsepower and is matched to a 5-speed automatic, which can be shifted by the driver. The Entourage starts at just under $30,000, and a top model like this one with leather seats is about $37,000. To get a full list of specs on the Entourage, go to our website. But I didn't drive the Entourage. Our crew did. So let's hear from them the top three things they liked about the Entourage. I'm a big fan of the exterior and the interior design. Everything is nicely laid out, the buttons aren't too big, and nice and logical. You could step in here and within a couple minutes have it all figured out. Every time I have backseat passengers, they just love the fact that the rear windows roll down. They just don't feel so claustrophobic. I think all vans should have this. One of the best features of this vehicle is the V6 engine. It's got lots of power, it's really smooth, and it sounds great. Feels like you're driving a much sportier vehicle than a minivan. And three things that they didn't like. This center armrest drives me crazy. Why? You go to put on your seatbelt, you can't get in there, so you gotta bring this up a little bit. You put on your seatbelt. The problem is it won't go back down, so you gotta bring it all the way up and all the way back down every single time. After a while, it drives you crazy. Okay, this DVD player, it's a dealer installed option. It's not installed at the Hyundai factory. It's great at first glance, it's huge, it's great for the rear passengers, but it rarely worked. And as well, with that huge size for the driver looking out the rear view mirror, you can't see much out the back window. And when you're sitting in the seat, you need to lean back really far to get a good angle because it's just an awkward angle. It should be mounted further up. Here's something, most vans, when you flip up the second row of seats, they lock in place, not the entourage. You get this trusty old strap here, it goes, around the grab handle and you just kind of strap it in place. Kind of hokey. But well, the good thing is, is that if this breaks, you could probably use your tie, your belt, your wife's pantyhose. Over the six months and over 8,000 kilometers, we averaged just 15 liters per 100 kilometers or 18.8 .8 miles per gallon compared to the 21 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway that Hyundai claims on their website rather disappointing considering we didn't even drive this van in the winter. JD Power & Associates gives the 2007 Hyundai minivan slightly below average scores for mechanical quality and overall design. Our crew feels that this van has been pretty good. They've enjoyed driving it and we are looking forward to getting the 2008 model. You have to consider that this is Hyundai's very first minivan and for a first effort it's pretty good but there is room for improvement. To purchase this car, new or used, go to driving.ca.